He began tonight with employees at the McNamara Federal Building calling for a temporary closure over Legionella concerns. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. Last month, we first reported on the elevated levels of the disease-causing bacteria found in multiple water sources in the downtown Detroit building. A group of employees working there say that our report was the first time they'd even been notified. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney talks to them about their concerns for the public who still have access to the building. At least two more agencies with office space here inside the McNamara Federal Building have moved to remote work after hearing our report last month. The employees say they want the entire building shut down until GSA can 100% determine that it's safe for the public. On a normal day, Monique Buchanan would be at work here at the McNamara Federal Building. But effective today, her and other Social Security employees are working from home or other offices out of an abundance of caution. I don't believe GSA is totally providing all information that they know that makes it even scarier. Buchanan's office closed this week after elevated levels of copper, lead and Legionella were detected at multiple water sources throughout the building months ago. Chemicals that can cause digestive issues, brain damage and Legionnaire's disease. Over the last few months, GSA, the agency that runs the federal building, says they've run multiple rounds of tests at 120 sites. After taking several problem fountains and bathrooms out of service and performing enhanced flushing, a December round of testing showed only one site still had elevated levels of copper, but five sites, including the bathrooms on the 21st floor, still have uncontrolled levels of Legionella. We have a range of public that comes into our building that rely on us, of course, for service primarily. But secondly, their assumption is, is that they're in a safe facility because it's a federal site. Employees say GSA has not done enough to inform workers or the public. They're now pushing for the building to be closed until testing of all sites can be completed. I guess our concern is, is that uh, GSA is not doing the job that they should be doing. Greg Senden represents employees at another office within the building. But I would like to see uh, GSA be more forthcoming with information. Um, I would like to have the public and the uh, employees that work in these buildings be uh, made aware of what the issues are so they can decide for themselves uh, whether it's safe for them uh, to be in the building. We reached out to GSA for a statement, but no one was immediately available. GSA says the testing of water sources within the building is still ongoing. The next round of testing is expected later this month. Reporting here in downtown Detroit, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News. Okay, thank you so much, Whitney.